Adrian Hauser, who they picked up in a trade with Milwaukee. He makes his Mets debut today. Two outs, that brings up Kerry Carpenter. Here's the 1-0 on the way. Pulled on the ground to second. Right at McNeil, he's got it, throws the first in time, side retired. The wait is over for Casey Mize, and we're gonna get a chance to see somebody really that's worked his tail off to get back on the mound to compete with his teammates. 721 days. That's been a long time waiting, long time coming for Casey Mize to take the bump. Brandon Nimmo leads off. And he misses down with the fastball, and Nimmo's on with the leadoff long. Well, here's Alonzo. Getting strike three on Pete Alonso, 96 to the edge. Welcome back, Casey Mize, his yeah. very first strikeout in two years. Took two on, Nemo still at first, now Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez hits one toward the middle of the diamond, past McKinstry and into center field. So now Brett Beatty rolled over to first base, tort to Mize, and Casey Mize is through his first inning of Major League work in nearly two full years. Brings up Zach McKinstry. McKinstry left side, that's a base hit, and the Tigers are in business with the top of the order coming up. Two outs, two on. That leaves it up to Spencer Torkelson. Fly ball out to right should be easy for Marte. And that retires the side, so Hauser works around a couple of hits in the third. Here's Lindor. And Lindor is hit on the foot by a pitch. And with two outs, here's Alonso. That ball to the right side, and Alonso sneaks one through. Lindor is going to challenge the arm of Fearling. The throw to third is not in time. Runners at the corners, and two outs for Alvarez. He drives this one down the left field line. That's a fair ball going into the corner. Lindor is in to score. Alonso being waved around by Mike Sarbaugh as it got away from Green. It's a two-run double for Francisco Alvarez. And the Mets finally cracked through after 19 straight zeros. They put up a pair in the third. Alvarez drives in two, and it's 2-0 New York. Beatty keeps the line moving now to Starling Marte. That ball is slashed to left field. Green going back, and Riley Green does have room to make the catch. So the Mets strand two. They get two. Two on, nobody out. Matt Beerling, who steps to the plate. And he chops one over the mound. Lindor will have to go to first with it. Low throw and nice scoop by Alonzo to get the out as the runners move to second and third. So runners to second and third with one out. Cole Keith will be the batter. And he lines one right to Lindor. That's going to be a double play. Riley Green didn't know where the ball was. And he gets doubled off second base to end the inning. Lonzo had a ground ball single into right his last time up. That's lined into center field. And Alonzo's got his second hit of the day. And A.J. Hinch is out of the dugout. So it looks like that will be all for Casey Mize. I know it's not the score that he wanted as he's leaving, but this is another beginning for Casey Mize. Left-hander Joey Wentz is on to pitch for the Tigers. And that one skips away from Kelly. And down to second base goes Alonzo on the wild pitch. And that'll bring up Brett Beatty. And Beatty takes one the other way for a base hit. Around third comes Alonzo. He will score. Brett Beatty going the other way on an 0-2 pitch against the lefty. Drives in a run, and it's 3-0 New York. Parker Meadows is 0 for 2. The 3-2. Outside. Nice at bat. Brings up the number two hitter, Spencer Torkelson. It's a breaking ball to shallow left center. That's going to fall for a base hit. Meadows read it well. He'll go first to third. Nemo will throw the ball to second. Carlos Mendoza is on his way out to the mound. Brooks Raley now in the game for the Mets on the mound. The Tigers are going to go to Andy Ibanez. All sweepers so far. There's another one in the air to right. Marte loads up the throw and it's cut off. The Tigers do have run number one here in the sixth inning. Ibanez, another sack fly. Two down, Matt Veerling coming up. And it's lined right to McNeil and that ends the inning. Jeff McNeil leads off against Joey Wentz, and he walked him. Here's Tyrone Taylor. He did. Nice pick over at third by Urshela, and he does get the out at second base. Nice play by Gio Urshela, and then on the back end as well, Colt Keith. We got two men on base. That will bring up Francisco Lindor. On three and two, runners go, and it's lined towards second. Oh, Colt Keith flags it down. Nice play by Colt. 
Drew Smith facing Colt Keith, the lefty. First pitch. Cracked in the sky, left center field. Taylor jutting over, now into a jog. Makes the one-hand catch. Here's Gio Urshela. That smoke to center field. Urshela on a fastball on two strikes, pumps it to center. Here's Zach McKinstry, who's one for two, had a base hit back in the third. And there's a fastball that just missed high. Ball four. The tying runs are on base. And with the left-hand hitter Meadows due up, Carlos Mendoza will make the pitching change and bring in Deekman. And former Met Mark Canna will be the pinch hitter, batting for Parker Meadows. First pitch. Downstairs getting away slightly and enough for both runners to advance. So now a base hit could tie the game. This one gets away and here comes run number two. This is a wild one after a pass ball and suddenly it's a 3-2 ball game. 3-2 is up. It's ball four. Canna takes a walk. Here's a big opportunity for Torkelson. And Torkelson foul tips it for strike three, and Deepman keeps the Mets in the lead. Adam Adovino for the eighth. Faces Riley Green. Riley Green with some power deep to right, and gone! That is the at-bat you're looking for with the righty specialist on the mound, and Riley Green ties the ball game. Edwin Diaz, who will work the ninth inning. And a swing and a miss, and Kelly is down on three sliders. And now Zach McKinstry will try his luck against Diaz. He struck him out. Edwin Diaz with a 1-2-3, top of the ninth. Jason Foley. And he faces Brandon Nimmo to lead off. And that's ball four. And the bets have the potential winning run aboard. So now Lindor, who's 0 for 3. And there goes Nimmo. The throw to second by Kelly, and he's safe! A huge stolen base for Brandon Nimmo. He struck him out, Foley at 101. So now it's Alonzo. And Pete takes low ball for us, so he winds up drawing the walk, and that'll put the game in the hands of Alvarez. On the ground, back to Foley. Keith the catch, and the turn! There's your ground ball, bonus baseball. Coming your way. Jorge Lopez will face the top of the Detroit batting order. Zach McKinstry at second base for Detroit. Uh, now the home run hitter, Spencer Torkelson. That's pulled into the glove of Beatty. He dropped it, but they're going to say he dropped it on the transfer, and so the out is recorded. Here's Andy Ibanez. Ibanez flies one to shallow right. Marte has to battle the sun, and he stays with it to retire the side. So now the Mets find themselves one out away from giving up the 10th. So it's left in the hands of Tyrone Taylor. No need. Strike three. Shelby Miller takes us to 11. Michael Tonkin, he gets the 11th. And he rips it to right field. Riley Green drops it in and pushes Ibanez to third. Hey, Matt Veerling, the batter. And he hits one down to third. Knocked out by Beatty. He still has time. Throws home. Narvaez with a 10. Terrific recovery by Beatty. Colt Keith is 0 for 4. As this floated to left center field, it's a long way to go. And Keith got it over both of them to the wall. Colt Keith, massive strength, his first career extra base hit. And the Tigers have taken the lead in the 11th. And there is that smile from a young man who just wants to get rolling. Brings up Gio Urshela. A bloop over second base, short center. That finds grass. And two runs and a 6-3 lead out of nowhere again. The Tigers have stormed back in extra innings. My goodness. Now Spencer Torkelson can really break this one open. And it's grounded down to third. Beatty will go across the diamond. On target, the inning is over, but not before the Tigers scored three runs in the top of the 11th. And lead it six to three. The Mets are down to their last out. That's too high ball four, and the Mets will get the tying run to bat. Pete Alonzo a shot here to tie this game with one swing. Swing and a miss, and the last unbeaten remains unbeaten. Six three, the Tigers again storm back.